I think everything looks good here. Let's do it. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Welcome back, guys. Flightmon14 here. Alright. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Uh, last time we did a couple duels during the week, bought a few new packs, and we got, uh, got some pretty good cards. We got, like, United We Stand, which is really good. Um, let's see. Let's just, uh, go to the next day here, Saturday. Right. Uh, oh, there's someone new here. Interesting. Okay. Well, we, I think we pretty much always want to duel whoever's new, so let's go to the Raw Yellow Dorm Cafeteria. Who could this be? Ahem! Good tidings, young lad. I'm the headmaster of Raw Yellow Seder. Oh, interesting. All oh, right. Isn't this the guy who uh, ran like the Chef Curry deck? Hmm. I wonder. Well, number one, I wonder can we duel him? Oh, we probably can. We can duel Fontaine. Number two, I wonder what his deck is in this game. Don't let my aura invigorate and intimidate you, young man. Ah, okay. Oh, so we didn't get the duel in there. Just, just introductions. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Maybe I should go uh, duel Beauregard there, since it is nighttime, and the duel giant only comes out at night. Uh, but there's also Briar right here. Um. Well, I guess let's. I guess I'll try Beauregard tonight. And if it still doesn't work, I'll try Briar the next night. I see him at nighttime. Uh, let's do it. Yeah. Will you do it? Yes. <laughs> You're not scared of me, even though I'm as big as Frankenstein. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's do it, buddy. All right. <sighs> How you guys doing today? Today is uh. June 11th, 2022. Oh, just one face down? Wow. Okay. That's a bit unusual, uh, but regard. Uh, yeah, it is currently 9.43 at night, and I just woke up. Uh, well, he's got nothing, so I guess I'll just play Mystical Space Typhoon and attack him directly. Uh, yeah, pretty easy start, honestly. All right, trap card. What do we get rid of here? Let's take a look. Trap hole! Yep. Standard, standard. Uh, let's go with. I'm actually gonna not go with Goblin Attack Force. I know I realized I could have done a lot more damage there, but um, yeah, we'll go with Dimensional Warrior because basically, if he manages to get a monster next turn, uh, Dimensional Warrior will automatically remove it from play. So there we go. All right. And by the way, how is volume? Let me let me just double check the sound here. Make sure we're not on. A cap or something. How is volume? Uh, we're on one, so I think it should be good. I think it should be good. It sounds a little low for me, though. Maybe I'll... Let's try two. Let's try two. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Just want to make sure everything is good here. Let's try two. Yeah, that sounds a little better. That sounds a little better. All right, what you got, Beauregard? Oh, uh, I'll just summon Goblet Attack Force and Attack Mode. Yeah, that's a pretty good card. Pretty good card. Uh, Goblin Thief. Okay. Why didn't you do that last turn, though? Surely you had that last turn. Uh, Banner of Courage. Okay. Okay. He's going all in here. All right. All right. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Attack me. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, because my Dimensional Warrior has a special ability. Whenever it's destroyed, Glory Card, both of us are sent to another dimension. Ha! Say goodbye to your Goblin Attack Force. Ah, now he's going all in. I see those face downs, buddy. I see him. All right, well, I could play scapegoat in the end phase, but now that he has two face downs, uh, we're gonna see if we can bait some stuff. Let's, I smell a magic jammer. Let's play scapegoat. Let's go, scapegoat. Oh, that actually worked, huh? Well, I didn't expect to get this far, but I guess I'll just set meteor rain. And in our turn, hmm, and he didn't torrential either. Interesting, interesting. Maybe he has trap hole back there. My good tells me pot of greed. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I'll just summon goblin attack force. 
Oh, I've got my goats. Uh, another banner of courage. Okay, not afraid of that. No, 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 no. We, don't, we don't need a chain of that. Nope. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, let me know if it's a little too loud, because I've got both the air and the, uh, the fan going next to me here. Uh, it's not really too, too hot right now. Man, three face downs, holy crap. Um, it's not, like, too, too hot, but it's just, like, I kind of, it's, it's a little muggy, you know what I mean? So I kind of just want to knock out the mugginess. All right, go, Carefree, the Iron Knight. What? The summon went through? You got to be kidding me, bruh. Uh... Let's try to activate Meteor Rain for piercing this turn. Aha! Alright, I knew you had to have something back there. Uh, I've got seven tools of the bandit. Alright, so no piercing, but we did get rid of at least one trap. Alright, go Gear Free. Slice his Goblin Attack Force down. Magic Cylinder? No Mirror Force? What? What you got back there, buddy? Oh, call the... Oh, okay, okay. Well, luckily it is the battle phase. So... We are gonna... Should I trap Jammer on this? Well, I probably should. Yeah, he didn't play Mirror Force or anything last turn. So, yeah, let's let's get rid of it while we... Oh, okay. Okay. Well, if nothing else, we made him pay another 1,000 for 7 tools. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with this. I'm fine. Because his Goblin Attack Force will switch to Defense Mode. Or if we destroy Call of the Haunted somehow, we will destroy Giant Orc. So, you know what? That's fine, Beauregard, that's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll just summon Giant Orc in attack mode. Alright. I'll use Giant Orc to destroy your gear free. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving him this voice, but... It's already been done, guys. Nothing we can do about it. That's right. Switch those monsters to defense mode. End your turn, buddy. Alright, well, we got Nimble Momonga, and these guys got zero defense, so let's send them in. No traps to be seen. Let's attack the powerful one first, Goblin Attack Force. Actually, let's attack Giant Orc first, because if we can somehow get rid of Call of the Haunted, uh, his other one will go, so. Yeah, probably a good call there. <laughs> My good chose me to activate. Ah, man. Good card, good card. What are you gonna get? Snatch Steel? Another Giant Orc! That's fine with me, Beauregard, because you see, by destroying my Nimbo Momonga, I get to play two more from my deck. I know I'll take 1600 damage, but now I gain a thousand and two monsters, and both of your monsters are in defense mode, Beauregard. Doesn't look good for you, buddy. I draw. Battle footballer, eh? Good card. Now go, my Momongas, attack mode. And that's not all, Beauregard. I've got a goblin of my own. Goblin attack force in attack mode. Go, my nimble Momoga. Go. Swift, fleet, claw, strike. All right. Go, my second nimble Momoga. Swift, feet, claw, strike. Looks like all your monsters are gone, Beauregard. That's not all. Uh, you're incredible, Flood. I never had a chance. <laughs> yeah, you never did. Go, use those clubs and attack them directly, boys. And I end my turn, and my goblins will switch to defense. What you got now, Beauregard? We're winning a duel, we're winning a duel. You got nothing, son. You got nothing. Now, prepare to face the ultimate beast. I sacrifice goblin attack force to summon the beast of Talwar. Only the mightiest warrior can hold the Talwar. Go, my Nimmo Momoga. Swift feet, claw strike. Help me, help me, Briar. Huh? Briar can't help you. Go! Swift feet, second claw strike. And now, legendary Talwar blade attack. Huh, <laughs> Briar saved me. Game over. All right, what do we get? 458, yeah. Four monsters destroyed by battle, very good. I already told you, I don't want a duel. All right, nothing there. Um, Let's see, ooh, I forgot about, almost forgot about these time duels. Tell you what, guys, uh, what time are we at? About 10 minutes? Let's do a few time duels to end the episode. Okay, so it looks like we've done 36 so far. So let's do time duel number 37. Let's do it. Let's see if we can figure this out. 
do 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 stand by phase. What do we have in our we can activate? Emergency provisions. Interesting. Okay, so he's got five thousand. Oh, Cyberstein. What's this? What's no 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 no. Let me see the details. What is this? Hade Hane. Not sure why I'd want to use that effect. Um, hmm. Ah, I see. Mysterious Puppeteer. Hmm. Kaney okay, has 5,000. What's in the fusion deck? Ultimate. Okay, so basically the goal here is to be able to use Cyberstein. I think what I want to do first, flip Mysterious Puppeteer. Now, Mysterious Puppeteer has an interesting effect. Uh... Yeah, as long as it's out, the life points will increase by 500 for each monster summoned. Um, man, do we want to play Granadora here, though? Well, it will give us another 1,000, and we need 5,000. So, I think this is the right move. Let's summon Granadora. Right, these will both chain. Yeah, that, that's fine. Decide. I don't think the order really matters here. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, that'll get us up to 1600, huh? Okay, so next... Hmm... Now, Spring of Rebirth... This also boosts our points, right? Each time monsters return from the field to the owner's hand. Um, so let me, let me do some damage here. So this is a thousand... 29... 36... Yeah, we won't have enough damage like this. Um, so I guess... Hmm. I guess let's flip some in Hade Hade? Okay, so both of these effects will activate. Um, yeah, that's fine. Decide. Return a monster to the hand? Yes. Um, now will this do 500 points per monster? Maybe that's the way to do this. Maybe we have to return all of our monsters? Let's let's just try it. I, I'm not sure exactly how Spring of Rebirth will work here. Let's return all three of our monsters, except for Cybersign. Let's see. Oh, it does do it per monster. Okay, okay. Hmm, so our life points are up to 3,600. Hmm. Interesting. So it does do it per monster. Problem is, okay, we can activate emergency provisions now, but now we're only up to 4,600. Hmm, so still not enough points for Cyberstein. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, I think I realized where I messed up, guys. I think I realized where I messed up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's, uh,. Let's, uh, surrender. Let's start over. Let's start over. I just realized I missed out on an extra 500. I just realized. Okay. Okay, I think we got this, guys. I think we got this. Okay. Okay, now that I know how Spring of Rebirth works. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, start with Mysterious Puppeteer. Right. Start with Flip Summoning Cyber Jar. This will give us an extra 500 we didn't have last time. Yeah, there we go. Okay, summon, normal summon Granadora. That way we get the extra thousand. Okay, yep, select the order to chain. Doesn't really matter. Uh, decide. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so we get a thousand. And then we get another five. Okay, now we flip summon Hade Hane. Okay, order doesn't really matter. We just need the life points. Decide. Uh, yes, we'll return all three Hade Hane. Just gotta select carefully here, make sure we don't pick uh, Cyberstein. And Granadora. There we go. And we get 500 per. Man, Spring of Rebirth's a lot better than I thought it was. I'm not sure if this is properly ruled, because the way this card's worded, uh, you would think, like, okay, so it returns all three monsters at the same time. So you would think it was, yeah, like only 500 here. Uh, but maybe it's misprogrammed in the game. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious, guys. Let me know if this is ruled correctly, this time duel, because it says 500 points each time, but Hadi Hane returns them all at the same time, so wouldn't that only be 500? I don't, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious how that's ruled in, in real life. 
Okay, emergency provisions for the last thousand. And now we can activate Cyberstein. Come forth, the ultimate engine of destruction, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And with that, we attack with everything and win. All right, so that, that one was, it was interesting. It was interesting. All right. And we went from like 100 life points to 5,100. We win. Nice. All right, next time, Dole, let's see if we can figure this out. All right, I'm gonna get a drink of water here. DNA transplant, huh? That's interesting. That could change the attributes. Uh, Jinzo, Acts of Despair. So he's only got 2,600. The problem is, uh, what are these effects here? Uh, if it battles a light monster, increase it by 1,000. If it battles a dark monster, increase it by 500. Huh. So we got Captain there. Um, so let me think. He's got 2,600. Hmm. Wait, we have Amazon a Swords Woman. Okay, hang on, hang on. It's Amazon a Swords Woman. Yeah, all the battle damage is inflicted to the opponent. Hmm, let me just try this first. I was thinking about playing Jinzo, but let me try. Let's increase his uh, Soldier Lady. Right. Let's summon. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's summon Swords Woman in attack mode. Okay. No, no, no. And let's see. Soldier Lady, if it battles with a light monster. Because I was wondering why DNA transplants here on the field. So let's declare light. So now our Swordswoman becomes a light Swordswoman. And now let's throw Amazon a Swordswoman into his lady here. Uh, let's see if this works. Let's see if this wins us the duel. I don't know if it will, but 2600. There we go. That, okay, that's how you do that one. All right, yeah, because I was thinking about playing Jinzo there, but I was like, well, I don't think we'll have enough damage. Interesting, interesting duel, interesting duel. All right, next one, next one. Uh, what's he got here? Three blue eyes, white dragons, I'm guessing. Okay, we got Mama Grizzly, Tadpole, Tadpole, Death's Croaking, hmm. Okay, okay, now, I think I remember how this card works, but let's just make sure... It can only activate this when there are three face-up Death Frog on your side of the field. Destroy all cards in your opponent's field. Okay, well that's definitely what we need to do, because his life points are at 5,700. Uh, got Mama Grizzly, so what's in our deck? Three Death Frog, okay. And what's the effect of Death Frog? The effect is... Uh, what, oh, no, 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 I need to know the effect before we... Uh, the effect is... When Tribute Summoned successfully, you can special summon Death Frogs from your hand or deck up to the same number of Tadpole in your graveyard. Ah, I see. Okay, well, it does say hand or deck. So I guess we'll play the Graceful Charity to send the Tadpoles to the graveyard. Okay, discard two. Decide. Decide. Okay. There we go. So we normal summon uh, Death Frog here. Use the effects. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. I mean, I would assume it would, because it seems like they want you to use Death Croaking. Okay, attack mode. Yep. Attack mode. Okay. Use Death Croaking to destroy all of his blue eyes. Now, let's make sure there's nothing else in the graveyard I can play here. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, so now we enter the battle phase. Tadpole attack. I don't know if this is going to be enough damage or not. Let's see. 38. Okay, I think it will be. I think it will be. I think we did it, guys. I think we did it. There we go. And we win. All right. So we clear that one. Awesome. Death croaking. I like it. I like it. That, that was a fun puzzle. All right, and puzzle number 40. This is the last one in this uh, bracket. So I guess we'll try to finish this one, and that'll be the end of this episode, if we can figure it out. Okay, we got Lele equipped with a Aeon. Uh, Mad Sor okay, so his monsters can be destroyed in battle. Hmm. So we got Mystic Tomato. Okay, I think we definitely want to summon Mystic Tomato. What's in our deck? Cannons, I see, I see. Okay. Mystic Tomato in attack mode. Uh, does Aeon have any attack points? 
Uh, no, it does not. However, I think we do want to use its effect here. Uh, yeah, special summon and attack mode. There we go. Right, because there is no next turn, so we don't need to worry about protecting it or anything. Uh, so send Tomato into Mad Sword Beast. That way we can trigger Tomato to get Cannon Soldier out of the deck. Uh, yes. Cannon Soldier, come for. And then, because of course, in Main Phase 2, we want to use Cannon Soldier to tribute all the monsters we have left for more damage. Alright, Lele, destroy Mad Lobster. Sorry to do it to you, Mad Lobster, but I gotta win this time duel. Okay, Cannon Soldier, attack, Cannon Barrel Blast. Yep, and main phase two. Just want to make sure we hit the effect correctly, so menu slowly here. Yeah, because it's defaulting to Cannon Soldier. Tribute Ion. Okay, Tribute Lele. And that's it, and Tribute Cannon Soldier. And with that, we cleared those th those four time duels guys all right pretty good pretty good so with that we've cleared time duels 37 through 40 all right well guys um that's gonna be it for today's episode let me remember to use the pda to save here yeah all right i like the time duels those are fun those are fun um maybe to start the next episode we'll do a few more time duels and then we will head out for uh, tomorrow. So, but yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this episode here. And we will continue next time. Thanks for joining me, guys. Do, 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 do. You all have a good day. All right. Do, 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 do.